Hello and welcome everyone. I just finished some new sketches in my sketchbook and I wanted to share them with you. All of these sketches are based on the reference photo that I took from my garden and at the park that I visited. I started with this butterfly pencil sketch. This is one of the butterflies that I saw at a butterfly garden a while ago. It was so beautiful in the garden, so I took a lot of photos and now I can use them for my art. Before I painted this butterfly with watercolor, I also sketched the raspberries that I saw at a local farm this fall season. For these sketches, I want to keep them quick and loose. My plan is to keep all the pencil lines and then paint watercolor on top. Later, if I want to, I would use black paint to draw the lines on top of the watercolor. So now I'm ready to paint with watercolor. And here is my watercolor palette. I'm going to start with the red color for the raspberries because that's what I'm most excited to do next. As I'm painting, I'm leaving some of the white spots for the highlights on the raspberry and I'm using only one color for the first layer. There's a raspberry that's hidden behind the leaves and I'm going to paint it red so we can see part of it. Some of the raspberry are ripe and really red but some of them are still yellow like this one and I think it's more interesting to have different colors together. While waiting for the paint to dry on the raspberries, I painted the green leaves. I used different shades of greens, cool and darker greens for the shadows, warm and lighter greens for the highlights. So here, I'm adding another layer of red for the raspberries. It's a darker red for the shadows. Moving on, I'm gonna paint this butterfly with watercolor. I'm mixing burnt sienna and orange together to get a brownish orange for the butterfly. I'm applying a thin layer first. And I also leave some white paper for the bright color later. When the first layer dry, I use a brighter orange for some of the details on the butterfly's wings. I need to wait for the paint to dry before I can add more details on the wings. So I'm painting the green leaf. I use a bright warm green for this leaf because it was sunny and warm at that time. When the watercolor dried, I use a dip pen with waterproof black ink to add the details on the butterfly.
I also decided to use black pen to add the lights on the raspberries. Originally, I wanted to keep all the pencil lines from the sketch and then paint watercolor on top. But after applying watercolor, I feel like I need to add the ink lines on top. sketch is the bright yellow flowers in my garden. They are called tick seed and I took this video during May this year so I still remember. This time I was more confident to sketch directly on paper with my black pen and it felt pretty easy and smooth this time. Before I paint watercolor on my flowers, I want to sketch one more flower at the corner of my sketchbook's page. This is the last sketch on this page. And again, I sketch directly with black pen this time too. It's nice sometimes to skip the pencil sketch. By the way, these are the wild flowers in my garden. So now I have all the light works and I'm ready to paint with watercolor. I want to start with the flower at the top corner first by mixing a purple color. Because I already have all the light works, it's so easy and fun to just add watercolors on my sketch. When all the purple flowers are done, I'm mixing some green for the leaves and this time I'm using a cool green for the first layer. I also added some light warm green for some of the leaves. And now I'm gonna add watercolor for the yellow flowers at the bottom of the page. First, I'm gonna add uh, the bright yellow for the petals. And this is only the first layer for the flowers. The next color is the reddish brown. And I'm adding this color to the middle of the flowers.
and then I add some greens for the stems and the leaves. I use a bright warm green for the highlights and then a darker cool green for the shadows. When the first layer of watercolor dried, I apply another layer of the reddish brown to the flowers. Before I end this video, I want to show you how I use my dip pen. So here is the tip of the pen, and here is the bottle of waterproof uh, ink. And I just use the dropper from the bottle to get some ink and put it on my palette. I just need uh, one or two drops. So now I'm gonna dip my pen in the ink. And I test it on another piece of paper. I really enjoy using the dip pen, but it is less convenient compared to the regular pen that I use. To finish this uh, sketchbook page, I'm adding a few watercolor sample on the right side of the page. And here are the finished sketches. I really enjoyed today's painting and I also hope that you enjoyed today's video. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments for me. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I will see you in my next video. Bye.